Moving to top scorers, actually one of my reasons for picking Jeremy is I think they got close. So he's a real, he's the man for, for tournaments, certainly in the, yeah, has been in the World Cups. Um, as I said, he may not start the games, but if uh, Mario Gomez isn't doing the business, he's certainly the sort of player who can come on off the bench, get a couple of goals, and then he could be in the team thereafter. He's 16 to 1, which is a wee bit short perhaps, uh, but uh, he's certainly got the pedigree, so I'm going to go with him as a top scorer. Uh, Ken, who do you think? Um, I think that Karim Benzema is the man for this. He scored 32 goals in 51 games for Real Madrid this season. Um, which is a phenomenal tally which, given the season that was in it, was overshadowed not only by his teammate Ronaldo but also by Lionel Messi in the same league. Um, France should get, I think France should get to the semi-finals. I don't agree with Ian that they're going to win it but I think that they'll get to the semi-finals which will give him five games to score however, whatever number of goals he needs what to. What do you have to win it? Four or five goals? Uh, I yeah, quite possibly. Yeah, yeah. 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 Probably Such is the class of the tournament to think yeah. it's four or five goals. We can do it. I have to say, I agree with Ken. Like, the easiest thing for me to say, because I think the Dutch are going to win the tournament, is to go rather than Percy. Yeah. But I, I like Benzema's odds at something like 14 to 1. Or, uh, yeah. You have to get on them. Like, the man is in form. He seems to have been uh, his confidence restored under Mourinho. Mourinho deserves a lot of credit for the way Benzema has turned out considering what Benzema was like before Mourinho really got his hands on him. And he'll be the main man for France, Ribéry, Nasri, etc., trying to set him up all the time. He's super valued, 14-1. Ian? There Lewandowski, 22-1. Poland's main man. Um, Borussia Dortmund have, have ridden on his goals. He's been, he's been talked about with all the top clubs in Europe. I know for, uh, Ferguson's been sniffing around with the Kagawa team. Dortmund might not sell Lewandowski to United, but they're in the as we've been talking about. They're in the easiest group. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. at home. He's their main man, and I just think a twenty-two to one. If you can get off to a flyer, that's going to be anywhere near twenty-two to one after a couple of games. Right, round off for the couple of quickies. Then, uh, which team do you think is going to be the biggest flop of the tournament? I would have said England, but I, I, I can't. <laughs> I can't say that as a definite one. So I will say Greece. I don't think see them doing much even in that back group. Joe, Portugal. I think I could see Portugal finishing bottom of the group. Denmark finishing ahead of them. Portugal maybe not even winning any of their three matches. Okay. Um, I was going to say Italy, but I think that um, I would go with John. I think that Portugal will find it hard. Uh, they have a lot of mercurial talent, but they don't seem to be able to, you know, piece together a team. And that in in a competition like this, if you don't have that, then you have no hope. So. Yeah. Your boy Susie. Yeah. Well. Yeah. There we are. Terrible preparation. Yeah. Well, too many injuries. Can we get anything that Ian said out? <laughs> this, uh, yeah, I think they're going to struggle. I think they're going home early. Right. And, uh, one player to watch as well, John. Um, Ibrahim Afale of Holland. I think he can make a serious impression in this tournament. Might not start all the games, but he'll definitely be a serious impact sub for them. Scored two the other night against Northern Ireland in one of their last friendlies. By all accounts, was very impressive in that game. Could force his way into the team and be a really big player. Like. He'll, he'll go ahead of the likes of Dirk Coit and mm -hmm. put pressure on the likes of Robin and stuff. He's, he, he's a good prospect. Okay. Um, I'd say Alan Jagolev of Russia, simply because, as we said earlier, they have quite a comfortable group. Um, he, they took Ireland apart twice in qualifying, and he has shown himself to be a, to be a quality player, and the opportunity is there for him as far as I can see. Not so much an up and coming player, but I think Bastian Swainsteiger has a great um, a 16 to 1 or 18 to 1 shot to be player of the tournament after the Champions League final. Um, he's starting to come back to fitness. I think I think he's had his injury troubles. But for me, he's one of the best midfielders in the world. Obviously, the Spanish two or three are, are, are up there, but Schweinsteiger's work ethic, he can play on the right, he can play through the middle. Um, I think he's going to lead Germany almost all the way. Um, whether they come up short or not, but I think he's got a great shelby player. And he know. is, Schweinsteiger is mentally tough. He'll, he'll put that he's penalty miss yeah, behind him. He took it really badly on the night more yeah, than yeah. any other Bayern Munich player, I think, but he's a guy who will... because he's seen as a symbol of Bayern. Yeah, he'll, so be, he'll be well recovered by the yeah, time the tournament starts. I'm going to go perhaps slightly from left field, but it's just someone I'd like to see really, do really well in the tournament. I'm going to say Fernando Torres. I can still remember it's basically the World Cup 2010 when it all, all went wrong yeah, for him. Yeah. dropped for the final and everything, and he really hasn't kind of come around for him. 
Uh, with that Vier not right. there, I think yeah. he could get a good chance. They have a few strikers around, Just but he's going to get the best service in the world, which he, he really hasn't had for a while. Mm. Um, and I, I just like to see him do really well. Maybe not top score or anything like that, but at least uh, get a couple of important goals, perhaps. Right. Thanks very much, gents. Uh, hopefully, we've given you a few ideas for your bets, or maybe muddied the water. I'm not sure. But uh, come on, Ireland. Let's go for the Euros, and good luck with all your bets that you're doing for the tournament.